Hello everybody, this is Bill Ash. In this video I'm going to show you how to do algebra with Python. Okay, and um, in order to accomplish this task I'm going to be creating a script and this script is going to output my answers uh, for me. I'm going to use a function in this script um, so that I can reuse um, some of my code um, to, to make this go a little smoother. Okay, so well, what is a function in Python? Well, a function is when we wrap our code in some special syntax so that we can reuse it later. So um, just, it'll be easier if I show you, I think. So to begin defining a function, you need to use the keyword DEF. So that's for defined, okay? And I'm going to have to name this. So I'm gonna name it a function, right? That's not a keyword, it's uh, something I can use in, Right now, um, it makes a lot of sense. Actually, maybe it would make more sense just to say F. Okay, so definition F, and then I need to say what my uh, parameter is gonna be, right? So I'm gonna be putting in these values for X, so I might as well put X here, okay? So that begins uh, the definition of this function here. So this so the name of the function is F, uh, the parameters I'm passing into it are called x, and then I have this uh, colon right here, right? So I hit enter. Um, idle should indent you in four spaces by default. Um, if you didn't end up there, you could press tab to get to the same point. It's important that your indenting stays consistent as we work down, okay? So what f of x is going to do is exactly um, this, okay? So I'm going to say answer. Okay, this is a variable, all right? I'm making a variable called answer. I'm declaring it right now. ANS means answer, and it's now something that this F function cares about, okay? So answer is going to be equal to uh, 3 times x to the second power, okay? So 3 and then the x and then to the second power minus 2 times x plus 1, okay? And then to finish my function, all I have to do is now um, add a return statement um, to this function. A return statement is where you tell Python um, what you want the result to go into, or what, what do you want out of the function? That's what your return is all about. What comes out of the function when you call it? So I'm going to say return answer. Okay, so now I have this simple function here. It's got this polynomial expression in it. It's going to take my x, it's going to toss it into there, it's going to compute the answer, and it's going to return it there. Okay, easy peasy. All right, so how do I get my answers out of this? Well, I'm going to set up some uh, print functions that are just going to spit out my answers and also keep track of um, what x is here, right? So I'm going to say uh, yeah, let's do it like this. So print, and then I'm going to do a string for x equals zero, and then I'm going to put a colon and a space here. Oh no, space! I don't need a space here. And then I'm going to say uh, f of zero all right and before I get too far into this process I want to save this file algebra.py okay there we go so now when I run this module you see it gives me the correct answer for x equals zero I get one okay now, if I uh, want to save myself some pain of typing this in three times, right, I can just copy paste and then I'll change this to 12 and 131 and then make sure I'm putting 12 and 131 into my function. And now when I run it again, I can press F5 to do that. Okay. Now I get my three answers. Okay, 
for x equals 0, I get 1. For x equals 12, I get 409. For x equals 131, I get 51,222. Okay, And I believe this math, I think Python's pretty good at the math. So just to summarize what we've created here, um, this is a function. Um, I have not really followed good Python variable naming conventions here, but I'm just kind of mirroring the math, okay? So the function's called f, the parameter is called x, okay? And my answer here is a variable that does that computation with whatever x that I give it, stores that into this answer variable, and then when I call that function um, with a parameter, it's gonna give me the answer, right? And I can then print that answer out um, using a print function. Um, and then here I am just providing a nice little uh, bit of string output so that I can identify, you know, what um, x goes with what f of x, right? So that's it. I hope that was useful. Um, really, this is just a simple exercise in creating a Python function and running a module. Um, I've used print to find a little function. Um, yeah, it's just a useful little uh, thing you can do if you've got to do some math. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Bill Ash. Um, hope to see you on the next one.